Hello there, everybody. Finally a game I've wanted to play on here for quite some time now. And uh, definitely one of the best games, I think, of all the games I've ever played. This is Diablo 2, a game I talk about all the time. Look at all these menus, look at all these things. So we are on a Battle.net server, so this is a legit game. Um, yes, I do have a Bnet account, sadly. I have played World of Warcraft, but you know what I mean. So we're going to start out as a Necromancer. Now, Necromancer is probably my favorite favorite class I don't know what it is it just feels right I don't know it's like the class I'm good with I've played through All the whole game oppose me beware oh, beware I played through the game as a what was it boson I played through as a jabazon I played through as a necromancer I played through as druid and definitely by far my favorite though was necromancer I don't know what it is I love it so if you're unfamiliar with Diablo I'll sum it up in a few words uh, priest Diablo dick Thing. If you really want to look up the story, it's pretty cool, I guess. But honestly, when does this game have anything to do with story? So, anyways, you're probably wondering, what the hell are you doing and how are you controlling this game? Why can I hear your mouse so much? And why isn't this Diablo 3? Well, Diablo 3 is a poopy game. I hate Diablo 3. And this is probably the game I've played that really, kind of last year, my senior year, everybody knew I played this game. Everyone knew I loved it. It was fun. I had friends that played it, it was fun, we had nights all of the time playing it, it was hilarity, oh man, it was fun. Um, and to sum the whole game up in a nutshell, point and click till Satan appears. I know that's off of a Reddit thing, I don't care, I don't like Reddit, sorry. It was just a friend's house, it was another time, man, it was another time. So basically that is true, you can see my little mouse pointer thingy, I am going to stab everything, and it starts out really slow. Necromancer is a little bit slower paced than everybody else, um, mainly for the fact that you've got to really build up your stats. I'm going to be playing as a bone necromancer, meaning I'm going to pump my stat points into these skills. I'll show you in a second. T is my default. You can see i got these choices of things I can go into. Our basic one is bone spear. Until we get to level 18, we're going to be working on teeth. Teeth! Um, I have tried summoning. I do a mix of summoning and bone. I'm not going to do like this major... I'm just going to go through a straight through. Probably maybe into hell difficulty. I don't know. Uh, it was pretty cool. I've, I've tried it. It's not too bad. Uh, it's, it's a game that definitely takes some getting used to. Uh, a lot of paying attention. And I'm going to have to play this in intervals because, I don't know, there is certain times I can play this game and I get like really bored of it. Um, not all the time, but yeah. Anyway. So, it is basically, if to equate it to a modern game, it's like, it's like Borderlands, okay? That's the easiest game I can really think of that I uh, can say this game relates to. As a modern game, Borderlands is very similar um, in the regards of randomized loot, and that is what really makes this game awesome. I just leveled up, by the way. I forgot to mention what the hell is going on, um, because I've played this game about six or seven times, uh, Pretty much not memorized, but pretty much well adjusted to how to play it. And uh, it's like second nature for me to be like, uh, isn't it obvious? So as you can see, I just right click. As you can see on my bottom thing there next to the red thing is my health. That does not regenerate unless you've got uh, special items equipped, of course, which are really rare usually. Depends on how lucky you are. Uh, as you can see, there is a little arrow looking thing next to that. That is my left click. That's my default attack. Um, right now it may look slow, but it's also how you kind of have to start the game. Uh, it's grinding a little bit. Um, but yeah. Then over there, that little red plus, the first one on the left, is going to be my stats. I'm not going to pour anything into anything just yet because I'm trying to get things done first, but I will do it in a second. Now, the one that's blue that has the little shoe above it is going to be my stamina, meaning how long I can consecutively run in a straight line. And right now I have a stamina shrine on, as I got earlier. Um, and you, if you're bothered by the map, I'm sorry, but that's the only way I can play this game. I can't not play it with the map on. It hurts my eyes not to do it. You'll get used to it, trust me. The little gray bar is my XP. Um, and what else am I looking at here? Those four items, blue and red, are pretty obvious. I've been picking them up very briefly here. Uh, mana and health potions. Mana is blue, that blue thing. The other menu there, the big red plus sign, is going to be my stats. Um, my stat tree here. You can make thousands of builds. There's so many builds of this game. So many different character combinations, which makes this game very replayable. 
Sorry if you don't like the sound of clicking. I am sorry. What are you watching? This is Diablo, son. This is what you do. You point and click until things die. This is a gem shrine. Now, shrines are random uh, on every server. Ooh. Now, you may be wondering, ooh, a diamond, Seth. Ooh, what's that do? Well, I'll show you guys in a second when I actually clear all this out. I'll try and explain the whole game as quickly as I possibly can. Because I'm not trying to go for a speed run, kind of. Not really speed run, but... I'm going to try and go through a concise playthrough, meaning I'm going to actually get to Bale. This is expansion as well. Bale is the final boss. It is pronounced B-A-A-L. Bale. Not ball. They say it Bale quite a few times. Um, ooh, very good. Um, shrines only last... A few of them last only one time. Um, so you kind of have to make use of some of them. Like, right now I just found an XP shrine. These only last for so long. I know it sounds pretty nerdy, but this game is pretty basic, as complicated as it kind of is sometimes. Um, right now what I'm actually doing is actually looking for the Den of Evil to start the game's quests. Now this game does not have the traditional RPG style quests, where it's like, I'm finding a lot of gems right now, that's pretty good. Um, it's not the traditional RPG go over, you know, character, do X, kill X amount of monsters. This is the only quest in the game where you pretty much gotta kill X amount of monsters to do X amount of thing. And it is made by Blizzard. Ooh, thank God. Uh, I'm just gonna. S eh, let's might as well kill everything. And I mean, it's a good starter strategy to grind certain areas out very quickly. And that is obviously depends on how you want to play the game. But for me, I like to explore. And it does seem weird um, to be exploring in an isometric view. But if you've ever played RuneScape, and eh, yeah, 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 well, I'm gonna say it right now. I played RuneScape for a long, long time. So this game was second nature to me, kind of playing it. And yeah, I was that guy that played RuneScape in middle school. But of course, that all went off in high school. Then it became, this is the guy that plays bass. So yeah, I'm not that way. Now you're probably wondering, why are you just punching the shit out of everything? What is the point of that? That is just redundant. You're a necromancer. Oh, ho, ho. we'll get into that in a minute. So right now we're going to go into the Den of Evil. Now, quests, though, as I was going to say before, I was rudely forgotten about what I was doing. Quests in this game are very different than the standard RPG I quests. Um, I should probably get what I was going to do right now. So, first of all, I'm going to just do this. What I'm going to do is put a skill point into teeth. Now, I'm going to bind teeth to right-click. Now, I'm using a Pavilion DB6, and this is a problem that I pain in the ass, because I can't just click um, my F1 keys and stuff to get really good hotkeys. No, I have to actually hit function key first if I want to do that. But basically, quests are given... And I'll show you guys in a second when I do all this crap, which is like the whole game. Um, right here you can see I have Act 1 started. This is Quest 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After you've done all those quests, you move on to the next act. There is, I think, 5 acts total in the game. And then you finish the game and you keep playing. Yes, you can keep playing after you finish the game. That's one of the best things about this game, I think, in my personal opinion. Um, and it does have kind of a lot of replay value. <laughs> like I said, there's millions of builds. Um, I bought the box set at Walmart for 20 bucks, and this does not cost a cent to play after you purchase it. I'm like, wow, which requires a monthly subscription. Diablo 2 is a free game, basically, as soon as you purchased it. It has single player, not like Diablo 3 where you have to play multiplayer. Diablo 2 is completely single player or multiplayer, but of course, having... I shouldn't have done that. Uh, having multiplayer options is probably the better thing. This is really weird. I'm going to try and do this the way I had it the last time I played. I had, this is my summoning, this, this is how I did it last time. What I'm trying to do right now is explain the game as quickly as I can without making you guys too bored. I need money. As you can probably imagine, the shaman things in this area, here's how money. most enemies work in the game is, oh yeah. shit, I don't have my left attack. Oh, I'm not super power yet. We're going to just keep that as normal, I guess. Uh, until we get some more mana, or mana, however you want to say it. Impossibly. So, basically... Uh, there's kinds of enemies in this game you gotta be attentive to, I guess. There's usually a summoner. Oh god, that's a lot of shit. Man, I'm a necromancer, so it's not easy to kill. Usually, I'm hitting a fallen shaman leader. They'll resurrect. There's usually that kind of enemies uh, in most most of the acts. And there's just the downright dick move enemies, of course. And there's the big skull crusher enemy type. You know, this game's got it. I love the monster variation. I hope it's not too long. I don't want to start this over. I'll check on the recording after I get back. Um, now, 
like I said, I, I know what I'm doing, so it's not like I, you know, I'm just like, duh, I don't know what I'm doing. I like, I'm not like Star, I've seen Star, I watch Star all the time, I watched the movie next all the series right when I started playing Diablo, well, actually, a few, few weeks before. And it was really kind of funny, because I'm like, oh man, it's so true, this game is just awesome, and it's nothing. I can't, I can't say that it's the best game ever made. No, it's not. It's just one of the best games ever made. There you go, there's a gargantuan beastie. Ah, it's not too much. Now, there, I'm gonna explain the items really in a nutshell. And I'm sorry if I forget a few things, but oh god, I'm not I'm not my old character, so I'm not used to this. Um, oh, running out of mana so quick like a scrub. So sorry. Um, there's a few ways you play this game. You can play like I'm doing, just go through, have fun, beat it fairly quickly, and have fun. Make sure you kill all these enemies, because you can't finish this quest without killing every damn enemy. Anyways, um, I'll just, I'll sell that. And I'll explain weapons in a little bit. Uh, you'll be finding, you'll either play as a character you want to go and get the highest leaderboard stats in the whole damn world. Oh shoot, I forgot about him. He is a butt. I don't want to die. I don't want to make myself look like a scrub. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I have goofed. I'm goofing. I'm goofing. I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. Um, but yeah, you can just play for fun, you can try and get PvP stuff. There's so much, like, in this game that you can do. Mods, uh, like I said, Star did Median XL. I tried Median XL, I got my ass handed to me, but it was fun until I got to Duriel and I wanted to stop playing. So, oh god, I'm gonna die. So first thing you gotta know about playing Necromancer, it's kinda like that weird class where you don't really... You can't take much of the uh, You'll die very quickly if you're not paying attention, uh, and you do rely a lot on. Oh, this is gonna take. This is gonna be hard. I need my. I, I mean, I'm used to. Oh, like I said, I'm used to my old character where I had everything basically at max. I had bone spear at max. I had super high. I still have the character. He's single player though because I was like sick at my mom's and I was like, I'm gonna play Diablo. And I need my. That happened. So. Anyways, items. Anyways, there's green items, which are set items, and if you, it's pretty much like a poly count set in Team Fortress 2. Like, if you have all these items in your inventory at once, you will have a certain set bonus, and that's pretty cool, right? Everybody likes those. People play this game for real monies, real items, is, you know what I mean. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. Some, sa some shady stuff goes on in Diablo 2 land. I'm just making sure I didn't miss a single thing because this becomes the biggest problem. Starting this game out slow, I will admit, this game is very slow to start out. It's not a fast game by any means when it starts out. Even when you know what you're doing, it's slow as hell. Oh, I killed him. Yay! So right there you can see this thing called Corpse Fire. He is what is called a super unique, meaning He's not going to change no matter what. If I went into another server, he'd still be there, well, you know, full health. But this is a guaranteed monster. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's a guaranteed thing that's going to be in the game. I do not have shit to kill you. Do I? I, need no, I don't. Um, they usually have a special thing that they usually do. Like his is Undead Spectral Hit. I have never really defined what Spectral does. I am Ooh. Ooh, very good thing to start out with is this. So this is a unique item, meaning it's it's got unique stats. Um, I needed all this, thank God. Oops. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what to say. Then there's like, I think, I don't remember what golden items are called all of a sudden in my head. I know it's something unique, but it's not a super unique item. It might be super unique item, but I think it is. I want to say it's super unique is like dark yellow. Uh, it's pretty much like TF2. Think of TF2 and... Borderlands stuff together. How many more damn things? Oh my god. One. I am overburdened. One more. Um, I told you this was going to happen. I'll be right back. There you are, and I did fix the audio. I realized the audio was very, very loud. So, anyways, I fixed that. If you're going to bitch and say I did dumb audio. So, anyways, I'll... Uh, oh my god, getting stuck on everything. So I'll, I'll catch you guys the next episode, and I'll explain a lot more then and there. Hope you like this one. I'm going to love this one. Hope you do. See ya.